Well, Kentucky Transportation Cabinet unveiling the designs of a much needed project that connects Covington and Newport, uh, the 4th Street Bridge. Now, over the years, the bridge has spiked safety concerns for both pedestrians and drivers, too. WLWT News 5's Danielle Dindak shows us the renderings, pretty cool looking, and she also spoke with the community to kind of find out what they want to see. Hi, Danielle. Yeah, Mike, if you drive in this area, then you know a lot about this bridge behind me. It can really be a pain for both drivers and pedestrians. Take a look at these sidewalks. If you're walking with your buddy, there's hardly enough room to walk beside them. Now, if you're riding a bike, well, forget it. You have to ride in that staggered position. So some good news out here. Some changes are on the way. And when talking to people, the number one thing that they want to see is safety. This is what Tempest Pope's daily commute looks and feels like. Cracks, bumps, and a tight squeeze. I think the bridge is very dangerous. It's uneven pavement, so it makes um, anyone walking or riding a bicycle uh, unstable altogether. Her ride into work less than ideal when she takes this route, including the 4th Street Bridge that bridges together Covington and Newport over the Licking River. You no, know, the bridge is outdated. I actually grew up here, so I seen the bridge through the test of time before it was even rickety raggedy like this, and I think that we have plenty of promises to fix it. Her wish is closer than she thought. Kentucky Transportation Cabinet unveiling designs for the Kentucky 8 Licking River Replacement Bridge. In total, there are four renderings. Arch, cable state, inclined arch, and suspension. Each layout equipped with safety in mind with two 12-foot wide shared use spaces. If we don't get this right now, this is going to impact future generations for the next 100 years. President of the DeVue Good Foundation, Matt Butler, believes the new designs are too vehicle focused, fearing traffic speed will increase. His other concern, public transportation. It needs to be rail ready. Uh, people in the community are saying, we want the streetcar. Uh, since I was looking to expand the streetcar, there's a contingent, a group in uh, Newport that's saying we want the streetcar. No timeline for groundbreaking, but KTC hopes to pick a design in October. But as someone who has traveled this bridge a time or two. What would probably be best is just to have a bike lane all together on the bridge. That would be nice, as well as a walking pavement for pedestrians. So this afternoon I did have a chance to talk to KTC and they did tell me that safety is the number one priority when it comes to this project, which is a good thing. So just being out here in the last hour, anytime a biker comes by or someone who walks, you have to jump out of the way. So of course we'll continue to update you on any new developments as this project goes further. Danielle Zindak, WLWT News 5. And Danielle, the DeVue Good Foundation having a meeting tonight about the project. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, Mike, that group is all about getting um, community feedback, whether it's on this project or future projects. And so what they d are doing tonight is right across the bridge over in Kentucky, that, uh, in Covington, rather, in Kentucky, they're holding a meeting from 7 to 9 over at the Trinity Episcopal Church. Now, if you can't be at that meeting, don't worry. There's a way you can join online. And so we'll have it all on our website, WLWT.com. Danielle Dindak, WLWT News 5. All right, Danielle Dindak walking the narrow sidewalks of northern Kentucky live for us. Thank you, Danielle. Another news.